Hey Vikings, today is October 14th, 2020, and for today's Student Bulletin. Need supplies? We got them. Free supplies set one per student available on school days from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. by visiting the front of the school. Today's Vingtober prompt is armor. Tomorrow's prompt will be outpost. Post your work with hashtag Vingtober or submit your work at bit.ly slash Vingtober. NSH Counseling Department presents College Application Series. CSU Series topics will be announced on Thursday, October 15th from 2 to 3 p.m. And UC Series topics will be announced on Friday, October 16th from 2 to 3 p.m. Join us through Google Meet. The meeting link will be available in the banner of the 12th grade Google Classroom. NSHS Council Department presents the College Planning and Financial Aid Workshops. There will be four Saturday sessions from 12 to 2 p.m. The dates will be October 17th, October 24th, November 14th, and November 21st. The Saturday workshops will include virtual meetings with the NSHS counselors so that they can help you complete your college, financial aid, or any other scholarship applications. The Google Meet link is down below. Environmental Club. The Environmental Club will be having a meeting tomorrow, October 15th at 1.15. We will announce our club officers, discuss upcoming projects and fundraising. The class code is 7WQLKSH to enter Google Classroom and access the meeting. Hope to see everyone there. Attention seniors. Hartnell has opened its application for fall 2021. If you want priority registration, fill out the application and begin to follow the steps to success. Please look at the resources posted in the Senior Google Classroom for more information. Avid Club. There will be an Avid Club meeting tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. We will be introducing the 2021 Avid Club officers and talking more about potential events this year. The Google Classroom code is BFCYWSI. Dance Club. There will be a Dance Club meeting tomorrow, October 15th at 2.30 p.m. We will be nominating Dance Club officers and talking more about the upcoming dance class schedule. The Google Classroom code is I54AA7F. Interact Club. Please join us tomorrow, October 15th at 1.30 p.m. for our first Interact Club meeting of the year. Meet your 2021 club officers and learn about upcoming community service projects. Bring your ideas as well as other projects and fundraising events for our international project. Google Classroom code is LXL2IYR. NSHS is hosting its second virtual dance of the year. If you missed the first one, make sure you don't miss this one. The Horror House Party is going to have different costume and dance contests where you can win prizes. The time will be from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And to RSVP, go to this Google Form link down below. And today's Counseling Wednesday, let's see what they have to say for today. Hello Vikings and welcome. My name is Miss Oliver and I'm here with Miss Flores. And today we will be addressing the class of 2024, our freshman class, to review the new graduation requirements. Next week, we will go over the existing graduation requirements that are for the class of 2023, 2022 and 2021, but for today we wanted to address the freshman class to cover the changes that have been made as of your class. So freshman class of 2024, as you move through your high school career, it is very important to keep in mind your graduation requirements. You will need 220 credits by the time you graduate. You will need a 2.0 minimum GPA. You will need a minimum of 85% attendance every year, and you will need 40 community service hours. Of those 220 credits that you need to complete, there are specific classes in specific subject areas that you are required to complete. Anything in black are pre-existing requirements that are universal for all classes currently, and then anything in red are the changes that have been made for the class of 2024. So class of 2024, here is the breakdown for the classes and subjects that you need to complete before graduation. For English, you will need four years, which equals 40 credits. So you'll be taking English every year. For mathematics, you will have three years, which equals 30 credits. 
and is usually in the integrated math sequence of 1, 2, and 3. For science, you will need two years, which is 20 credits, and you'll be taking Next Generation Science 1 and Next Generation Science 2. For PE, you need two years as well, which is 20 credits, and you are all currently in your first year of PE. For social science, you will need three years, which is 30 credits. You will take world history, U.S. history, and government and economics. Now, for fine arts and vocational education, you can either do the following. You can do two years of either a visual and performing arts or a career technical education class. So two years of visual and performing arts and two years of a career technical education sequence. Or you can do one year of a visual and performing arts and one year of a career technical education class. For foreign language, you need two years, which is 20 credits, and it has to be two years of the same language. For health science, you will take a half a year and five credits of health science, and then a half a year and five credits of ethnic studies. Finally, you will need three years or 30 more credits of electives. And electives can be an actual elective class, or it can be extra years of math, science, or anything else that you are passionate about. Hello, freshman Vikings. Another requirement for graduation is a 2.0 minimum GPA. So in this column, you'll see the grades that you can earn, and this is a grade point value and the credit value. An A is worth four points, a B three, a C two, and a D one. And the credit value, it's all five if you pass, except if you get an F, it's a zero. So um, I won't get into calculating your GPA because you're gonna learn that uh, in one of these Wednesdays. But if you see here, uh, just you have to keep in mind that D's are passing, but if you get straight D's, that will give you a 1.0. So you will not meet the 2.0 minimum GPA, okay? Attendance must be 85% every year, at least 85%. That would be ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade. If your attendance is under 85% in one of your years, then you will not meet the graduation requirements. Now, do verified absences affect your attendance? Yes, if you're absent, for like a week ill, you, you will still call in and you will get it cleared, but it will count against you, okay? And then you'll also miss on your work and your learning and, and homework and all that. So that then tends to affect your grade. So remember, if you're absent, you need to speak to your teacher. You need to log in daily. Remember to log in Mondays as well for advisory. And then reach out to your teachers if you're having connectivity issues. If you can't connect for whatever reason, make sure you let your teachers know. Let someone know so that they don't think that you just didn't show up. Okay? And get your work done. It's better to get credit and a distance learning late than not get any credit at all. And the last area for graduation is community service hours. For your class, for freshmen, it is 40 hours. So you guys got lucky because it was 60. So during distance education, students will only be approved for virtual community service hours. And the hours must be pre-approved by the North Salinas High School Work Experience Coordinator. Uh, the Work Experience Coordinator's email is right here. That is Ms. Benitez's email. And uh, if you go to the North Salinas High School Community Service webpage, the link is right here. That will get you to the forms you need to get the pre-approval. So I urge you to please look at that other webpage. And uh, remember that right here is more requirements, which is the, the hours. Again, it says must be pre-approved. The organization must be nonprofit and at least 10 in two different areas. Up to 20 hours can be school related and 10 hours can be job shadow. Okay, so that's community service. Okay, so we hope that you learned something today and we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Go Vikings! And the Viking Creed, never give up, stay focused on yourself and others, and stay positive. That's it for today, Vikings. Have a winsome Wednesday.